so hello everyone so in this video we are going to discuss with the upcoming exam model question paper solutions for you all so those who have taken the subject uh, the sixth subject as a computer organization and architect architecture so for those we have provided you with the solutions for model question paper okay so we have two set of model question papers for you so in that the first set uh, we have uh, provided you the answers for that okay so uh, let's start with them so with the for the first question it goes like this with a neat diagram describe the functional uh, units of a computer okay in that again we need to mention all the functional units here so it consists of uh, mainly five independent main parts that is input memory arithmetic and logic unit uh, output and control units after that uh, make a block diagram like this and explain all of them briefly okay so here i have uh, i'm just uh, scrolling it here you can pause it and you can refer it if you want and you can write the data size of each bits here okay so if you want to you can zoom it here see this is the data size here and after that uh, the about the functional units here what are the random access memory operating systems and all and again uh, the main thing for arithmetic logic unit so arithmetic logic unit is mainly used for the mathematical operations such as the addition subtraction multiplication and division and all and also in the alu from memory is stored into the high speed storage and it's called the resist, uh, register then according to the instruction operation is performed in the required sequence okay so this is all about arithmetic logic unit here we have output unit control unit yeah so that's all so next question is explain little indian and big indian byte address assignment with the neat diagram and show the number 34761395 using uh, stored uh, using these methods okay so we need to explain the concept of big indian and little indian here again these are the two of the definitions for that then we have a, a programmable logic for these two one then we need to consider a 32 bit integer that is they are mentioned in the question right uh, show the number 34761 is stored in using these methods okay so yeah, we need to do it like this and after that again big indian little indian you can refer it okay so the next question is the need diagram discuss the operation in the concepts uh, for a computer highlighting pc that is program counter memory address register memory data register and instruction register okay so yeah this is the instruction register here program counter mar and mdr these are the explanations pause it and refer it again so, so 2a explain iztriple standard used for a single and double precision floating point number representation with examples so this is the all about iztriple standard floating point arithmetic here brief explanation along with that we uh, represent floating point number by i triple 754 the most efficient in most cases it has three basic components that is the sign of mantissa biased exponent and normalized mantissa so this is the block for that you need to note down these and few of the main main points you can note it down okay so this is how the value is represented in this uh, block here in this sequence you need to be right knowing that okay so this one is an example here so the third question is discuss the following with an example three address instruction two address instruction and one address instruction so this is all about one address uh, two address with the seven efficient examples and three address instruction okay so pause the video and refer it if you want for let's go to the second module now describe the following uh, addressing modes with an example it is register direct indirect and address so these are few of the addressing modes uh, okay they have mentioned only four right but we have provided you all of them you can refer it if you want these are uh, the addressing modes we have uh, eight addressing modes here so all of them for all of them we have provided you the explanation you can pause it and refer it if you want so here it is this is first is a register addressing mode along with the block direct addressing immediate addressing direct addressing indirect addressing mode through gprs indirect addressing mode through memory location index relative and auto increment 
also auto decrement okay these are the addressing modes you can remember so the next question is define stack and explain push and pop operations on stack we need diagram and examples so these are all about stacks and queues here this is a stack here so it works under the principle of uh, last in first out okay lifo and the terms push and pop are used to describe placing new items on stack and removing the top item from the stack these are the again main points here so how the, the push operation works under stack and this block and all you need to write it so yeah so next question is consider a register uh, r1 to size 16 bits with initial data 58760 with the need diagram to pick the output in each cases okay for that we need to be knowing these are uh, these operators here that is shift and rotate instructions logical shift left right all of the all of its working rotate operations and uh, rotate shift without any and all so that we have not provided the solution what we have provided with the logic okay by using this logic we should solve that problem okay yeah so the next question is define subroutine with the program segment illustrate the parameter using registers uh, this is all about, all about subroutines uh, these are the program necessary to perform a particular subtask and are called as subroutines here so when a program uh, uh, in the sub branches to a subroutine then it is calling the subroutine instruction perform this branch operation is called a call instruction here so this is the block that you need to be writing for subroutine okay so it's visible right and zoom it if you want so this is the example program okay using registers so explain the memory operations with examples so the memory operations are first is memory app map the input output so yeah so these are the, the second is move byte data in move byte data out and memory map input output these are the few of the explanations you need to be knowing okay for the question memory operations with examples so yeah that's all for this video hope you have liked this and uh, if you have liked this video please share it with those who have uh, selected the uh, selected the subject uh, computer organization and architecture and uh, spread this video okay so if you want uh, many other other stuff related to other subjects such as uh, the upcoming remaining exam is max right we have already provided you the videos for that you can refer it to our channel here uh, the playlists are uh, uh, there in our channel the, it might be coming on the right of your screen right now so yeah that's all so in the next video we are going to provide with, with more solutions okay thank you